Hello, this is William Dunk Johnson. Today we're going to talk about how to make fighters awesome. Because if you're playing a fighter, and everyone eventually does play a fighter, fighters are incredibly popular, you are playing the action movie hero. You're not the wizard whose general literary roles provide some backup support, or the white wizard, aka your cleric, your bard, or your stunting, thieving bagginses, or your thieves, and your ne'er do wells. You are the hero. You are the one out in front. You are the one outshining everyone else. And you don't need those fancy powers or abilities that those some call subclasses or add on, tack on classes like rangers, paladins, barbarians have. You just get down and dirty and do the fighting. So you've got a bit of extra challenge to make your class awesome. Because whatever version of Dungeons and Dragons you are playing, fighters do one thing well, they fight. And generally the designs for well, you can add everything else with your imagination. After all, it's used to say products of your imagination on the front. Presumably they were guessing that people would use their imagination and not whine about how they didn't have any other extra abilities. So you've got to use your imagination. You've got to show how your character is the action movie hero. How they are Sean Bean. How they are Arnold Schwarzenegger. How they are or even Keanu Reeves. Some of his characters are fighters. Rather foolish bland fighters, but fighters nevertheless. What makes your character special? Because if you're playing a fighter, you get to pick from almost anything. Be a gladiator. Of Nat and Trident. You can be a spearman who fights in the fought on the wall with a shield and panoply and a large spear. You can be some brutal thug who enforces the the gang's dictates. There are no slunking shadows for you. You come out with your club and you break legs. <laughs> You're a mean, dirty fighter. Or you're a mat, you're an aspiring warlord, or you're a bold knight. You can be any of these things. You can be the gunman, the person who knows all the guns. And that the Punisher is a fighter. He's going up against that monk in Daredevil at the moment, but he is a fighter. And he gets to have his he gets to know all the weapons. That is another thing fighters do. They know all the weapons. They can pick up any weapon. And use it. So make your fighter a multi-role fighter. Have a ranged weapon. Have a mid-range weapon. Have several melee weapons. Pile on as many weapons as you can. And detail them. If you use a sword, describe how the sword is. What it looks like. And keep a tally of who it has killed. Of interesting, interesting things it has killed. You know, this sword has killed dragons. This sword has severed the heads of ogres. This sword brought down the giant Agra. That is your sword. No one else has a sword like it. And describe describe your other weapons. Describe your sidearm, your mace. Describe how it is studded or spiked or has flanges. Describe in loving detail how these weapons <laughs> crush or skewer or decapitate your enemies. And learn a bit about your weapon. If you are using a knight's sword, an arming sword, learn about things it can do or people, what people did with it. Knights have this tactic called half-sorting. Uh, grab it by the blade and bludgeon people to death if they couldn't get through the armor. So they give the opponent a concussion. Or also with half-sorting, you can grab by the blade to guide the point into a, to a, neek, to a niche or a gap in their armor. Describe that. Or find out how they fought with maces. Describe the flurry of blows you can get off of a mace. You can get a flurry of blows. You can get a lot of good waxing with a mace. It is a fast weapon. If you're fighting with a two-handed sword, describe how you can pivot and move it quickly, changing from defensive stance to an offensive stance, that you can lunge out with it like a spear, that you can sweep it to keep everyone at bay, because no fool wants to come in range of a two-handed sword. If you're using a bow, describe how it is made, what sort of wood is it made out of, and describe the arrows, and how you have different and like Hawkeye, you have an arrow, you have different arrows for different occasions. You have short range arrows for punching through armor. You have long range arrows for raining death down on enemies from afar. You have arrows 
with wide blades to skewer and cut apart lightly armoured fools. You have arrows with short, tapered tips for punching through armour and going, for, going out the other side, even. Describe your weapons. Describe how you use them. Because this is what you do. You are the fighter. You get the shine when you fight. When you are dealing death, they don't just say, I do 6 damage, or 16 damage, or 600 damage. Describe what it does. You know, describe how your arrow pierces through their head and gives them a new eye, a new hole right here. So, that is how you make fighters awesome. Describe their fighting moves. And also consider what you do outside of fighting. What are those other stats doing for you? You know... If you have a low wisdom, are you reckless? Are you foolish? Do you give in to drink, wine, drugs? When someone offers you something, do you take it and then regret it later? Having a low wisdom stat is an excellent attribute to have in a fighter because heroes make mistakes. Heroes often go down the wrong path. Heroes fall for the dark seductress. So having a low wisdom stat is not a penalty. It is not something... To be disdained. Do not worry about it. Do not worry that you're going to fail spell saving throws. That you're going to be charmed. Relish it. Relish that the fact that you are going to fall for all the tricks of the enemy. And play into it. Play into that hero archetype. Because heroes do those sort of things. They make those mistakes. So a low wisdom is often a great stat in a fighter. And it's something you can play up. Play up that you are foolish. That you, make, that you don't always get things. Or... If you are a, a low intelligence stat, play that up. Play up the fact that you are illiterate. That you're at, you can't read stuff. That you don't read stuff. And people go, you get, you know, books are valuable, but you don't know why. You can't understand. Just you do not can't read signs. You know, you go by the pictures. Play that up. Play up that you are uneducated. If your character is uneducated, if your character is educated, your character is smart and is clever, like they're an engineer or an artillerist or a strategist, play up that intelligence, play up that cleverness, come up with plans, use plans to defeat your enemies. Come up with a plan, have a cunning tactic, ask about the surroundings, use the terrain against them. You can even do this if you're a dumb character, but if you're a smart character, emphasize it. Give out orders. There's that scene in that Avengers movie where Captain America jumps down and starts giving orders to all of those mooks on their side. That's an awesome thing to do if you are a smart fighter. Give orders, have flunkies, pick up a few minions, and then give them orders in the battlefield. And this also applies to being having a good charisma as a fighter. You, charisma, charisma should always be a high stat on a fighter. It shouldn't be just some neglected throwaway dump stat. Your character is the action hero. Your character is the one everyone's gone to the movies to watch. You should be trying to play that character. So have a higher charisma. Put in, you know, stack in a 12 or 14 or 13 or whatever you can get to spare. Put that in charisma over something else. No one needs to worry about constitution or dexterity or, you know, you can, and you can probably box one of the... One of the brain stats, you know, you want to be wise. You don't really want to be wise. So have that as your dump stat, not charisma. Charisma is your cool stat. Charisma is the stat which says, I get the girl, or I get the guy at the end. Charisma is the one which says, I am the hero, and you want to be the hero. And if you've got a good charisma, then you can be the hero. You can be the one who walks into the bar, and their teeth go, ding. Be the hero. You want to have a high charisma set. You want to bring that into play. Find some charisma skill. Intimidate is great for a fighter. And that runs off charisma. So when you're going up to your opponent. And they face them off. And you can swagger up. And you know, you've got your armor. You say how it shines. You can move your helmet. You say, I am Agnar the Hammer. I will crush you and bring that intimidation in. Cow your enemies. Be an awesome fighter. So, those are some thoughts on how to be an awesome fighter. Remember, you are the action movie hero of the game. Be the action movie hero.